Hello, my name is Curtis Dykstra, Parks Naturalist with Ottawa County Parks. This year's photo contest had 71 entries. Unfortunately, we could only choose five winners and only one grand prize to go on our 2022 mug. But we thought it'd be fun to hear the stories behind each of these winning photos. Here they are. Enjoy. First, we'll start with the four honorable mention finalists of the photo contest. Hi, my name is Beth Miller. I live in Norton Shores, just over the Ottawa County line, and I bird in Ottawa County a lot. Um, I took the picture of the juvenile black crowned night heron, and I took it at Ottawa Sands. And Ottawa Sands is such a rich, wonderful habitat. It's got, um, it's got some woodland, some grassland, and some wetland, so you are always excited to get there and see what you're gonna see. Seeing the um, black crowned night heron was over the top because they're such a special species of concern, so regal and majestic, and to see a juvenile is an, uh, a special treat. I had been wanting to see one for a few years and had not seen them. I'm a fairly new photographer, so my biggest challenge uh, when I see something is to calm my nerves because I've always gasped and kind of freaked out whenever I see a bird. And then I try really hard to hold the camera still. And so when I saw the black crowned night heron with my birding BFF, Cindy, I just tried so hard to stay calm and hold the camera still. And I probably took about a hundred pictures just praying that with that rapid exposure, one of them would turn out. I don't think I was aware until I got home and started looking at the pictures on my computer of how gorgeous the background was. The green and the blue just set him off so well, but I never dreamed it would be as beautiful as, as it turned out to be. Hi, my name is Mike Burgeon. I'm from Jenison, Michigan, and I photographed a yellow rumped warbler at Grand R River Park in Georgetown Township. Spring is my favorite time for bird photography. When the leaves are just starting to pop out, you can still see through the woods enough to find the birds, uh, both with your eyes and your ears, but there's not so much clutter in wrecking good pictures. So I usually go to the Grand River every spring for the warbler migration. And I was uh, along the river behind the back meadow at uh, Grand River Park and three yellow rumped warbler or males were, came along who were, seemed to be interested in each other. There may have been a female nearby. Um, so I was shocked that they decided, that at least one of them decided it would perch really close to me. And, so I whipped my camera lens around and got a good picture. Uh, cropping helped it for composure a little bit. And uh, I entered it uh, in our Grand Rapids Camera Club monthly competition um, is what first came to mind because I knew at the time that I probably had a pretty good picture because the bird was so close. So one of my tips is to um, know about where the birds are likely to be, but be conscious of where the sun's gonna be, what time of day you need to be to that spot, because you always want the bird on the downwind side of you to get a good lighting on the bird. And any backlit birds are usually in the delete file. So know when to be there. And it takes a lot of time to, to get that knowledge for each individual location and bird, but it's very rewarding if you follow through on it. Hi, I'm Lynn Rutan. I'm from Holland, Michigan and I took the picture of the Kildeer family. The story of the picture is a kind of an interesting, fun one. My friend Kim Boss uh, probably deserves as much credit for the picture as I do. Um, it, the birds are on her beach and she'd been telling me all about them and had invited me to come down and take some pictures of them. Um, there are a lot of factors that made it harder than I would have guessed. Um, Kim said that the babies, the chicks, were the most adventurous chicks she'd ever seen. 
and she was right because they were everywhere. They were all over the place. They were ignoring their mother who was calling and calling and frantic. And she would call them and they would finally come over and go under her wings. And they'd be there for about two seconds and then they'd pop out and be gone again. And they were all over. So I was worried about um, making the mother too, too frantic and too distressed. And so I would only try to take pictures for a little bit and then I went away and I came back and it took me three separate trips before I finally got a picture of the family all underneath her wings. I have an awful lot of pictures of her, the mother, with a lot of fuzzy blurs as they go flying out. So there are a lot of pictures that get thrown away before I ever got this one. Hi, I'm June Kuiper. I'm from Holland, Michigan, and I shot the chestnut-sided warbler at the Port Sheldon Natural Area. So one of the things that my husband and I enjoy doing is hiking through all the uh, Ottawa County parks that are just within miles of our home. And so we, we do that quite often. Um, we ended up at the um, Port Sheldon Natural Area and last year saw uh, that there were some chestnut-sided warblers uh, just kind of hopping around in there. So I went back the following year and um, went to a specific area that we knew that they were seen before. Uh, and just took my backpack and camera in there and I had a camo shirt on and just sat down. Because one thing that you, you can see the warblers do is they will hop from one place to another, to another, to another, back over here. And then they kind of have a pattern of how they start jumping around. And so I sat down and um, became immediately frustrated because they were hopping. I did see one and they were hopping, but they were hopping behind the leaves and behind the branches and behind things where I couldn't get a clear shot at it. Uh, so um, after sitting for about an hour, I decided to stand, but I was standing next to a pine tree and I was hidden in that pine tree just a little bit. And as it started hopping around, I noticed it was up to my left. I, it was, the sun was just perfect on it and I took the camera and got the shot. And I was just so excited because it was a clear shot. And I was just hoping and praying that it was going to be a good shot for the mud club. Because it, those are the things that we go for all year long. I didn't know that this one would be the one though. Um, we take pictures all year long of birds in the Ottawa County area. And uh, just because we enjoy it so much. Um, it's a great hobby that we share together. And that's my story. Now it's time to hear the story of our winning photo by Doug Kuiper. Doug came to the Nature Center to record this interview, and when he did, I gave him his mug and his prizes. Congratulations. I'm Doug Kuiper from Holland, Michigan. I took a picture of the red-headed woodpecker at Quincy Park in our backyard. We backyard bird a lot, it's a hobby. Um, our backyard butts up on a tree line on Quincy Park. And we have seen three or maybe four red-headed woodpeckers in the last four years where we live. One of the things about the red-headed woodpecker that I like is, um, I remember growing up in Jenison and we had some hardwood trees where I lived and we'd see them occasionally there. Um, and seeing this bird brought that, that fond memory um, of my childhood. We had a cottage my dad did at Big Star Lake and we would see them up there once in a while. But it's a relatively rare bird for, for me and to see it out our back window was a really special moment. So the red-headed woodpecker picture that we took this spring in May was actually shot out of our master bedroom window in our backyard. This is a Saturday morning we were having coffee with birds at home, and I was sitting there uh, and happened to be in the right spot when the red-headed woodpecker arrived and perched on this branch in the picture that you see. Uh, it was there less than 30 seconds. I happened to be at the right window um, and shot a bunch of pictures on burst. And we had three that came out well. In June, my wife was in another part of the house uh, saw the same bird, but didn't have a good angle on it. 
uh, but it was shot taken out the window, not through the glass, uh, with a telephoto lens, and just happened to be there at the right moment, very lucky. I can say that we have a backyard birding setup that's been crafted. We have what we call affectionately the pecker pole that has suet on it, and the woodpeckers uh, perch on that. Uh, not this one this time. Um, we have a cooper hawk that attends regularly, searching for a snack, um, and five or six different feeders uh, tucked in the trees. So we get a lot of migrating birds in the spring, and it's easy for us on a Saturday to spend an hour or two with our cameras at the window if there's activity and there happen to be on this particular Saturday morning. In case you didn't catch it from the interview, Doug and June are married and both enjoy this hobby. In fact, June won back in 2019 with her photo of an orchard oriole. Congratulations to you both. Now you can share your coffee with the birds at home with each your own mug. I hope you've enjoyed the stories behind each of the winning photos this year. And remember, it's not too early to start taking photos for the 2022 contest. Good luck. Thank you.